So we are starting off today's video walking up to Marshalls. Today is going to be another bargain shopping. Last time we were at these, this Marshalls, we found a lot of good stuff. I'm going to hit up Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and probably a Nordstrom. I'm not sure if Nordstrom Rack is here. There is a Neiman Marcus last call, which is basically like a Nordstrom Rack, but for Neiman Marcus. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully find some nice things. Let's get it. So already we have this new age Tommy Hilfiger with a little Tommy Hilfiger spell out. Retail $70 on sale for 30 bucks. All over Tommy Hilfiger denim. It's a $15 shirt. These are kind of cool. So they're, they're, it's not like a specific brand. It's just like a regular knockoff brand. They're only $30 either. But we have like this vintage like striped hoodies. They're pretty sick though. It almost reminds me of like that Urban. This actually is only $15. That's pretty cheap. It reminds me almost like that Urban Outfitters feel. The Retro K Swiss hoodie did go on sale. It used to be 20, now it's 15. All like Chanel. If you guys remember last time we actually found this, the original price was $348 on sale for $70. I like this Ralph Lauren flannel. Got a couple of them. What's this? Off white at TJ Maxx or at Marshalls? <laughs> so funny. Another thing I showed you guys last time I was here, a little tri block and champion all embroidered. It is actually on sale now. It used to be 30, now it's 24. Damn, look at this. This is so like 90s. It reminds me of like Riff Raff. $17. This is the same brand as those uh, striped hoodies I showed you. Today's fit. Fire. Some more Tommy jeans with the big Tommy, all all uh, screen printed, $17. This is a nice colorway. We've seen this before in the gray. Uh, we've actually seen this at TJ Maxx. It was on clearance here. It's not on sale. It's regular 15, original 35, and it's like in that Tiffany teal colorway. Damn, when I saw this, this thing is so sick. So you have the Tommy screen printed, and then the jeans is embroidered on like this pastel pink colorway, $17, original 40. Damn, I might have to try this on for personal. I just love this color. The thing is so sick. Never seen this before either. So we have the Tommy jeans, but it's like a NASCAR and like an off color pink as well. It's things that we're finding. Like I've never seen this before. I've never seen this one before. It's kind of crazy. You guys seen me get this before the Tommy jeans in the blue colorway. Polo spell out with the little rider. Damn, I love this yellow. You guys obviously know yellow is my favorite color, so that yellow is pops. So nice. I might try this on. Since I'm trying on the pink one, I might as well try on this as well, you know? Jeez, I swear, like, all these stores are just filled with Tommy Hilfiger, like, reprint retro demo. Damn. Oh, come on. You know I gotta get this. Are you kidding me? Hilfiger denim with, like, the big all-embroidered yellow? Come on, guys. $15. Definitely grabbing this. Retail, $40. 100%. I think it actually matches, uh, let's see, wow, uh, a little bit lighter color, but almost there, almost there. No white, I've actually showed this before as well, the little Tommy jeans, little retro, uh, retail price was $50, $17. So this TH85, it's like their sailing edition, or like the offshore. Uh, basically the vintage Tommy Hilfiger would have like TH85 and that's how you know it was like Tommy sailing gear so it's kind of like the reprint $35 original price was 15 another yellow one honestly if I like this yellow so much and just give you guys a size reference this is a 2XL and I'm gonna be trying on just because I like like super baggy fit shirts uh, this actually has a stain on it we'll have to leave that one oh, that one's nice another nice all Hilfiger embroidered with like the color blocking Nautica all embroidered. Now I did start looking by the two XLs, so I'm obviously gonna check the XL and large to see if maybe they have different sizing. But again, I do like my uh, t-shirts oversized, so I'm gonna try on the two XLs. You have the fleece all embroidered hill figure, $50 retail. Oh, doesn't have the original tag on it. Geez, this store just has so many things I've never seen before in like the multicolored light blue with like the peach. So this is a little strange. This is the old school polo tag. Like they don't make this anymore. And look what it says, Freedom Seekers Art Base. Doesn't even have like a polo name on it at all. It's almost like someone just put that, like sewed that on and returned it. That's so strange. See, this is the new polo tag. And then that was the old one. 
Wow, this is so nice. You have the embroidered Polo USA patch, the Polo spell out. Damn, might have to grab this. I've never heard of this brand before, Banks and Journal. It's only $8. Uh, retail price is cut off, but like, I don't know if you guys can tell the design on this shirt is just so sick. So they have a white version of the pink one that I showed you guys, but honestly, I think the pink one just pops so much more. That white one just looks a little bit plain. So I found another of the polo, so it was originally $55. Damn. I've showed a blue version of this before. You have the Tommy little script, and then on the back, the Tommy. It's like a fuchsia pink colorway, though. Another little polo spell out with the rider, all, in, all uh, screen printed, though. And they also do have a red colorway in it. They are $20. It seems like the bigger the sizes, the better the stuff because I'm just at the small now. Like I started at 2XL, now we're at medium. And to be honest, there's not much of anything. And that's why like I tried to get as small sizes because everyone always asks, it's small, medium. But to be honest, it's just, for some reason, the big stuff is always like the best stuff. It's, I, I don't know, it's crazy. It's insane. All right, let's see as far as shoes. So I feel like every time I come here, we always have these glitch like NMDs. And then we do have the Paisley, or the, sorry, the Parlay Laceless for 80 bucks not bad some of the pharrell williams hughes 40 dollars in the light blue colorway as well as like the i guess green gray colorway some jordan futures this was actually at my local marshall's the parlay like i guess mid another nmd then we have the deconstructs 45 dollars these honestly look so much better without the netting. So many people have done a YouTube like where they cut off the netting and it looks so nice. I even know like Ugg makes like actual tennis shoes. Look at these. Kind of crazy. 36 bucks. All right, let's go try these on. Eh, so unfortunately, I don't really like it. And the reason is, look how big, like, I don't like wide necks. I understand it's a 2XL, but the neck is like super stretched out. So it, it doesn't like sit nice. The color's nice. The graphic is sick, but eh. Got to pass on this one. See, this is a 2XL also, but look how like tight the collar is. This one fits a lot nicer. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna cop it though. I might. The color is really nice, especially for summertime. I feel like this will really pop in the sun, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. Obviously, I wouldn't wear yellow shorts. I'd wear black. And here's the yellow logo. I really like this also. Again, another 2XL and the collar's nice and like tight. I don't know what's up with that yellow shirt. Just if it was stretched out or that's just the way it fits. This one, not bad. Um, I think if I had to pick though between this one and the pink one, I think I would go with the pink one just because I do have a lot of gray t-shirts. This is nice with the yellow spell out to be honest, but to kind of be different, I don't have anything this color. So I think, oh wait, is that a stain? Oh, come on, man. Let's see if I can find another one because that one is stained. If not, I'll probably just leave that behind. And then this is the polo with the USA. I honestly don't like this fit at all. It's super boxy, like, nah, not for me. Okay, luckily they have about five, six shirts, so make sure, let's make sure that uh, there's no stains on any of them and we'll pick up this one for personal. I was checking out, look at these Polo Ralph Lauren hats. You have like the Western all throughout, little red rider, 25 bucks. Then this one is so sick. You have the guy with the duck hunting and the dog like retrieving the ducks. This hat is crazy. If I were to wear hats, I would definitely buy this. So fire. This is where they had the Polo hats. They also have the corduroy camo. A red one, a denim one, all of them about 20, 25 bucks too. Well, I showed you guys Marshalls. We found a lot of Tommy Hilfiger. Now we're walking to TJ Maxx. Let's see if we find the same stuff or better stuff or worse stuff. Let's see. So off the bat, they don't even have any Polo Ralph Lauren hats. So that's kind of like a, a difference between that. You know, Marshalls had legit all Polo. This has no Polo. So this is very nice. You have the Polo Ralph Lauren, like, Sheep liner, like fleece liner, retail $148, $50. So at Marshalls, we actually found the t shirt version. Now, this is the fleece version, like fleece jacket. You have the USA patch all embroidered, the polo spell out all embroidered. Retail was $150 and is on sale for $50. Honestly, that's not bad a deal at all. I might actually just put this in the cart for the time being and uh, might grab that. Not too sure. All right, so there's one on eBay right now for $57, so this is not worth $50, but still a really cool find to find at TJ Maxx, you know, figure 150 bucks and 
on sale for 50. And then continuing with the polo, we have the color blocking polo. Now what I kind of thought about is this store is closer to the Ralph Lauren outlet. So I'm curious if the stuff goes here first before it makes its way down to Marshall's, which is the other end of the mall. I'm really curious on that. Look at this, you have the RLX, original price $195, $60. Just crazy like people that actually buy Polo Ralph Lauren at the retail price. So I have a pretty good memory. I remember this brand specifically because one day we went to TJ Maxx and it was this brand, Georgia's West Palm Beach, and it was a trench coat that was like $2,000. Now this is a knitted sweater. It only says $40. Um, I'm not exactly sure, you know, what's the deal with this brand, but I just remember that that was a very expensive brand. We found another of the Polo USA with a nice little patch. For personal, it would probably be worth it, but not to uh, flip or anything. And then bam, we're at another TJ Maxx. They have some Invictus. A uh, black and gold one's actually really nice. I might try that on because it's similar to this one. Just obviously a gold version, you know? We have a blue one, which that looks similar. Oh, it's a two-tone. I was about to say, it looks similar to the one that we just saw at uh, the outlet. I'm gonna go ahead and try that one on. Remember when G-Shocks were super popular? That one's not bad, like a mint color. A limited edition Mickey Mouse one. It's pretty cool, but I don't really wear blue too much, so that blue, if it was a black dial, maybe. Look at this, Mochino or Moschino, however you guys want to pronounce it, I'm not exactly sure. But they want $100, I'm not exactly sure what retail is on this. So that watch, when I tried it on, for some reason I didn't like love it. And when I buy a watch, usually I put it on, I instantly know like, okay, this is what I want. Uh, and I don't know, just the black face kind of threw me off. Maybe if it was all gold with the, like for example, if this was all gold and instead of like, instead of this, oh, it's hard to, I have to fucking, yeah, I can't even show you guys. But basically, instead of like the outer being black, I would want, the outer being gold and then the inside face black not the out black i don't know just throwing me off so this is a different tommy hill figure the tommy hill figure and it's actually all embroidered which is pretty nice because it won't rub away or anything and now the one we have the tommy going down with making like an h the first time seeing a tank top you have the tank top like in all like the rainbow i guess color way not bad haven't shown you guys this today, but we've definitely seen it before. We have like the Tommy Jeans multicolored striped shirt. And Marshalls, I showed you like the fuchsia pink version one. Now the royal blue one. This is pretty sick. You have the Polo Ralph Lauren little jersey with the polar bears. I wish it was actually a polar bear shirt because that'd be fire to find it. Uh, TJ Maxx, another tank top, red, gray version of the Tommy uh, big logo all embroidered. Well, finally made it back from TJ Maxx as well as Marshalls. And again, I only bought that Tommy Hilfiger shirt and I'll show you guys the exact reason why is because one, I don't have much color in my closet. You know, I have some yellow, I have some blue, some green, but this pink is literally the first like bright, bright color that I have. So I had to add it, you know, it's a nice little fit. Uh, it goes well just because like I said, I don't really have too many colors in here, too many like bright like pinks or reds or anything. The only red I really have is that, so it's a nice little addition to the personal. And then the watch, I just, you know, I didn't, like I said, I didn't really fall in love with it. I'm sure I'll eventually get another Invicta later down the road on another TJ Maxx just because I did end up selling that one I did buy. If you didn't catch that video, make sure you guys go check it out. And also check out my other videos. I have about 300 videos on this channel, which is kind of insane. I have some crazy finds that I found like literally two years ago. I was actually thinking about the other day. I'm, I'm like, in the past two plus years, how many crazy finds I've found throughout like the whole entire my like existence on YouTube. But I'm gonna quickly end today's video. Gotta edit it, throw it up for you guys. Make sure you guys check out link down below emcvlogs.com. I have 100 items for sale. Every single purchase really does help support these daily videos, so I appreciate every single one of you guys. See you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog at 8 p.m. And don't forget guys, let's get it.